Hey guys, and welcome to part 3 of the Pixel Extravaganza. In this video, I'll be showing you how to update your rooted pixel using Fastboot. Now, this is kind of a uh, complementary tutorial for the ones using Flashfire, but I think this is uh, also good to know. So again, we're going to be updating from the 008 build of uh, Android O to the 013 build using Fastboot. So of course, we need to download a few things here. Let's head over back to our computer, and from here, of course, we need to download the SDK platform tools. Now, this just includes ADB and Fastboot, so our computer can communicate and connect with our phone. Now, of course, I already presume that you have the drivers installed from the first time you rooted your phone. Now, if not, uh, you can probably go do that while we're at it anyways, but you'll need the SDK platform tools. Next up, you'll want to download the latest factory image from the developers.google.com site here. Now, it's just at the very end, uh, this is the one I'll be downloading, the November 2017 update for the Pixel. And next up, you want to download the TWRP files for your appropriate device. Now, if you have the Pixel XL, you want to go with the, I think it was Marlin. And if you're with the regular Pixel, you want to go for Sailfish. But you can just search it up, um, your device here, in this little search box for, in TWRP's website. But anyways, you'll need to download the TWRP Pixel installer the zip file, and of course the fastboot image, which is at, oops, down here. You'll need these two files. Last but not least, you'll also need to download the latest version of Magisk that works with the Pixel. In this case, at the time of making this video, it is Magisk version 14.3. Now as long as it works for the Pixel, then you can just use that version of Magisk. I guess uh, you'll have everything downloaded like this into a folder just like this. So there are a few things we need to do before we get started, I guess. First off, we need to actually copy some stuff to our phone. So of course, we need to plug in our phone to the computer. And when we do, we'll also need to change the USB mode to transferring files. And then we'll head back to our computer. Now here you want to copy over the TWRP Pixel Installer and the latest version of Magisk that you've downloaded. And that's it. Now we can reboot our phone into the bootloader. But before we do that, let's extract some files here. So you can unplug your phone if you want to. So right now we need to extract the platform tools. So it's going to open up the archive here, open up the platform tools folder, and we want to extract these uh, four files. So five files, adb.exe and the two DLLs underneath, the win API US, uh, DLLs. Then you want to extract the fastboot exe, and then you want to extract the libwinpthread-1 DLL at the bottom. And just extract those five files outside just like this. And we can close this now. Next up, we want to open up the factory image. This is where we're going to be flashing the images here. First up, we want to extract the bootloader and radio images. Just drag those two outside like that. And then for the actual image, we want to open the zip file within here. So this is just going to extract it to a temporary location. And from this zip file, we want to extract a couple things here. So from what I gathered, you can just extract the boot image, the system image, and system underscore other image, and then also the vendor image. Extract those four files and drag it outside. Okay, so once everything is extracted, we can reboot our pixel into the bootloader. Now I'm just going to clean up some stuff on the desktop here, and we'll go back to our phone. So from here, let's unplug the USB cable. It helps a little bit with not messing up the sequence. So we're going to power down our device. Once it's off, you want to uh, hold the power and volume down buttons on the side here together until you feel a vibration or the screen comes on. And then you want to plug in the USB cable. Okay, so once it's in, we need to now head back over to our computer where we will complete the rest of the steps here. So in the same folder with nothing selected, uh, hold shift and right click in an empty space and select the option to either open a command window here or open a PowerShell window here, depending on which version of Windows you're on. Or if you're doing this on a Mac or Linux machine, uh, you'll need to find out what to do with your terminal and how to change directories like that. So from here, we're going to uh, flash the bootloader first. So first up, we're going to check that our device is connected to our computer. So we're going to type in fastboot devices. Okay, so our device is connected here as it shows our serial number. Next up, we want to flash the bootloader. So we're going to type in fastboot 
flash bootloader, leave a space on the end here, and then drag in our bootloader image onto the command window, and then hit enter. Okay, once that is done, we're going to reboot back into the bootloader. So we can type in fastboot reboot dash bootloader, like so. And our phone will restart back into the bootloader. Now you can probably verify that your bootloader has been updated to the latest version, and it has. So now we're going to flash the latest radio image. We'll type in fastboot flash radio, leave a space in the end, and drag in the radio image here onto the command window. Hit enter. And once that is done, now we're going to flash the usual images now. We're going to start with the boot image. So we're going to type in fast boot, flash boot, leave a space on the end here, and then drag in our boot image. Hit enter. Okay, and now we're going to flash the system image. Now you notice there are two system images, and one is for slot A, and one is for our secondary slot. So we're going to do the primary slot first. So we're going to type in fast boot. Now you have to make sure that the current slot is A, which is by default. As you can see from the commands that we've completed previously, they say A. So you're safe to type in just fastboot flash system and leave a space in the end and drag in the system.img. Now this may take a, a minute, maybe less, as it is uh, 1.8 gigs. So we'll let this uh, do its job. Okay, so the primary system has finished flashing. We're going to flash the secondary system now. We're going to type in fastboot, and then we're going to do two dashes, so dash, dash, and then type in slot, leave a space, and then do underscore B, leave a space, and then we're going to type in flash system, leave a space in the end, and drag in system underscore other, and then flash that. So you can see now it has changed to system B, and it is going to flash this other system image to the secondary partition or the system partition. Okay, so now the secondary system has finished flashing. We're going to flash the vendor image. So we're going to type in class boot, flash vendor, leave a space in the end, and drag in the vendor image and hit enter. Okay, so we're pretty much halfway there. Now all that's left to do is actually uh, install TWRP again and then reroute using Magisk. So what we need to do is now the TWRP installation process, which of course starts with booting the TWRP fastboot image. So we'll type in fastboot, boot, leave a space in the end and drag in our TWRP fastboot image and hit OK. And you can see our phone reboot into the TWRP image. So I'm going to switch over to our phone now, since the remainder of the tutorial will be there. We're going to decrypt the data partition. Once that's done, we're going to tap on install, and then locate our TWRP pixel installer. Whoops. Tap on that, and then swipe to confirm flash. Okay, now once that's done, we're going to go back, back, and then reboot into the recovery once more. This is just so we can verify that TWRP has indeed flashed itself or installed itself properly so we can boot back into it without having our computer do it for us. Okay, we're going to decrypt the data partition again. And once we're in, we're going to tap on install and then locate our Magisk installer and then swipe that to flash as well. And we're done. So we're going to tap on Reboot System. And after this, our phone should boot up back into Android on the latest build of Android O. And once we're there, we're going to check um, our safety net status and, of course, whether we still have root access. And hopefully all our data is still there, but it is more than likely going to be still there anyways. So I'm going to fast forward this until we get back into Android, where we'll check out some things. Okay, so we're in. Let's just uh, unlock our device. You can see that the system is updating here. Let's just have a look at the build number real quick. 
can see we're on the 0.13 build of Android O. Now let's just have a look at Magisk. You can see we're still rooted. And let's have a look at the safety net status. And you can see we are passing. And if we just look at Flashfire, for example, you can see that it could get root access. So there we go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This is a uh, been a guide for installing an update using Fastboot on your Pixel when it's still rooted. So thanks for watching, guys. And as always, happy flashing.